how to upload and save file to server folder in esp.net mvc so let's start the very first thing i'll open solution explorer and from there i'll be opening the view now i'm creating a form using mvc html helper methods i am making use of begin form method it accepts three parameters the first one is name of the action result method which is index the second one is name of the controller which is home and the third one is the type of call in this scenario it is a post call now i am setting the encryption type to multi part form data this particular attribute is very necessary when you are uploading a file using the form i am making use of an html span this particular span is used as a label for the file upload control now i'll be adding a file upload control input type equal to file which will be used to select and upload the file to the server now i'm setting the name attribute here the name attribute is very important because on the server side that is inside the controller this particular field value will be accessed using the name value or in other words the name attribute value the next thing i am adding is a input type equal to submit in other words a submit button which will be used to submit the form to the controller's action result method so now let's move to the controller here we'll start by adding the namespace is system.io it will be required for saving the file and for file and directory operations now i'll be adding action result method which will be used to upload the file to the server this particular action result method will accept a parameter of type http posted file base which is actually used for holding the uploaded file inside the method first a check is made whether the file has been received from the client if yes then a path to the uploads folder is created using the server.mappath function and then the directory is verified whether it exists if it does not then the directory will be created using the generated path finally the posted file will be saved to the path and then the message of successful file upload will be set in the view back variable in the end the view function is written now let's move to the top of the action result method where i'll be adding http post attribute which are very important for handling post call which completes the action result method let's move back to the view where we'll write the code for displaying the message to the user i am making use of an html span to which i have set the color as green so now here i will be displaying a message from controller inside the view for that purpose i'll be making use of view back object view back allows us to create a dynamic objects that means we don't have to define the data type so finally our complete application is ready now we can run it and see it in action so as you can see the file upload as well as the button is visible so i am selecting file and i'll click on the upload button as you can see the file has been uploaded successfully so with this we come to the end of this video thanks for watching please like share and subscribe and don't forget to click the bell icon goodbye